we have completed tree vertex splitting now we go for the optimal march pattern okay suppose we have four files a b c d okay and number of data are sorted data are 20 10 5 10 and we want to merge these files now different possible combinations are there we may merge a and b first then c and d first then we can merge both or we may first a and b first then the resultant with c then resultant with d or we may merge c with d first then the merge file we can merge with b then the output then the the, the, the that file we can merge with the a now optimal merge pattern so optimal merge pattern we can identify minimum number of comparison means uh, minimum number of comparison we need to merge the files now we can see one example four files are there a b c d here if you merge 20 and 10 these two are the sorted file that means we need 30 comparisons similarly if we merge 5 and 10 we need 15 comparison total we need 45 comparison then you have to merge these two so total number of comparison 45 45 so total resultant resultant comparison so summation is 90 okay now what you can do we can do one thing we just sorted the order so 5 10 10 20 you just sort first to first list to 5 and 10 15 15 number comparison then resultant with 10 15 plus 10 25 then resulted with 20 that is 45 okay so total will be 85 so same file here we need 85 number of comparison here we need 90 comparison so obviously our aim is to reduce the number of comparison to increase the performance of the algorithm or to reduce the time now we can see the optical merge pattern algorithm okay optical merge pattern algorithm so for 1 to n minus 1 1 to n minus file so n files are there okay now pt new tree node it's a it's a node okay so uh, here we are using dynamic variable left child right child okay and wait this particular part is the weight so first pt new node okay create one node now in left child list of list suppose it is a list okay so it's a list i need from the minimum one so minimum one is the five so here we just see here next right child in a insert the next minimum one so 10 b d may be there we may insert d also but we have chosen b and add the weight of c and b okay add the weight of c and d and store it into that so c and b is what 10 plus 5 which is 15 okay and insert into the list so 15 you can insert so 15 may be somewhere here okay then loop it's a loop one second another create another node okay left child insert uh, a list minimum minimum value to the left child so here minimum value is what 10 okay say uh, 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 it's a 10 okay so which is d and right child the minimum next minimum next minimum was what 15 so 15 and we have to add this one so add this addition is what 10 plus 15 it is 25 okay so 10 plus uh, 10 plus 10 plus 15 it is 25 next one second create another node okay create another node so 25 may be somewhere here and uh, list list value so next list value is 20 so store here 20 and the right part store the uh, right child that is 25 so here it is 45 okay and insert into this and return list so uh, we just list the tree structure so through this tree structure we can we can say uh, what should be the actual merging pattern so that easily uh, we can uh, means 
uh, we can identify the minimum number of comparison to merge uh, sorted files another example here uh, the files are 2 3 5 7 9 13 okay so first merge 2 and 3 5 then 5 will be somewhere here then with 5 will be somewhere here okay then merge with another 5 so 5 plus 5 10 10 will be somewhere here next take minimum the next minimum will be what uh, 7 and 9 okay so merge 7 and 9 7 and 9 it is 16 16 will be somewhere here then merge next to 10 and 13 okay so 10 and 13 to merge 23 23 will be somewhere here the next minimum will be 16 okay so merge is 16 it's 39 so final output is 39 okay uh, one application is there that is hoffman code okay now suppose a b c d e f 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 alphabets are there now to represent the to express the alphabets uh, we need 8 bits assume it is 8 bits so if you want to transmit a b c d e f 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 into 8 40 bits we have to transmit okay now can you do something so that we can reduce the number of bits and if you reduce the number of bits that means means what we are increasing the bandwidth or easily we can transmit data now we may use uh, this particular concept to generate Hoffman coding okay now first of all uh, a b c d e f now what you can do suppose uh, we have to see how many times a occurred how many times b occurred how many times c occurred d occurred e occurred f occurred we have to identify uh, probability say out of 100 times a how many times a occurs a is occurred out of uh, 100 times b how many times b is occurred so it may be possible a occurred say 30 percent b occurred 10 percent c occurred 5 percent d occurs 3 percent e occurs 2 percent f occurs 1 percent and so on now using uh, 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 using this particular greedy method concept we can apply uh, we can create hoffman code so first of all from this merge the list two so list 2 is what 1 and 2 so merge e and f so e and f 1 plus 2 it is 3 next is what next merge is what 3 d so d plus 3 it is 6 so 6 will be somewhere here then merge with c merge with c 6 plus 5 it is 13 then merge with 10 10 is what b so 10 and 13 it is 23 okay next merge with 30 with a so 23 plus 30 it is uh, 53 now to generate hoffman code from left we can say 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so e code code of e is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 for 2 0 0 0 0 1 uh, sorry it is all 0 e for e all 0 for f 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay 1 2 3 4 1 for d the code is 3 0 and 1 for d 3 0 1 1 for e c 2 0 and 1 2 0 and 1 for b code should be 0 and 1 and for a it is uh, 0 and it is only 1 okay so total number of code 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 now if you allocate 8 bits for all it is 48 now if you use hoffman code 
we have to transmit we have to if you want to transmit a b c d e f so here we need to tra transmit only 20 bits okay so that is the use of uh, uh, that is hoffman code 